Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, I, I well, I, I don't know. Yes. No. Bans, okay. uh, sorry. But the recordings look different. If I record here, it might look different from yours. So mm -hmm. it's good to have two recordings because they, in a way, they look they look different. So. Uh, oh well. Let's see. Here oh, we go. Well. Gallery view. I got a gallery view now. Mhm. Mm Perfect. Well, <laughs> I am going to open the chat too, just in case. Uh, mm -hmm. Here, um, chat. Okay, so if uh, we want to write something or share mm -hmm. um, a file, or um, uh, we can do by by chat. Okay. 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 If you like, I can start explaining uh, Buthania and my uh, experience. Sure. Would you like it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Buthania, I, I'm going to start and then you are going to explain your own point of view, okay? Okay. Okay, well, the story is like this. My students are from a boarding school. They live at school from Monday to Friday during normal classes. It's in the middle of the country. Uh, they prepare, uh, they feed animals, they learn how to plant vegetables, they make cheese, okay, all things related to the country production, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, in this circumstance, all of them are at home, far from a school. So, uh, our classrooms uh, are uh, by Zoom, um, are a huge opportunity to see each other because they are uh, very close, okay? Well, but uh, this is uh, another opportunity. Uh, so I provided them with um, several questions to a possible interview to a person who is living in quarantine in a different part of the world, okay? Mm -hmm. that, that was the idea. So we worked on the questions previous this session, okay? And then we uh, had the huge pleasure to have Buthania with us. And uh, uh, all my students uh, connected from home to the class and um, they they had the, the interview. They could ask questions and get Buthania an uh, answer. Okay. Well, uh, if Buthania um, could tell us something about uh, this experience, uh, she she wasn't the only one we interviewed yet, but she was so clear, so warm. Um, so sympathetic with my students that uh, they refer to her like a friend nowadays. And uh, for those, yes, for those who missed the class, I uploaded the video in classroom. So many of them said, teacher, I understood everything. Wow claps for you. <laughs> One of them said, well, I got some ideas. Great, you are a genius. And some of them say, teacher, just a few words. So I said, don't worry, you've got the video. See it again. Stop it. Uh, go back and try again. Try again. We are going to celebrate this is real English in real context. We are trying to understand each other, to share feelings, because we are really in the same boat. That was the idea. That was the moving idea. So, Budania, tell us. Well, what to tell you? I mean, it was really an exciting experience for me 
to meet all those lovely students, uh, the best thing uh, was actually the questions uh, they asked uh, because they were all realistic. And we all belong to these kind of questions nowadays. Uh, I mean, whether I'm in Kuwait or you are in Argentina with your students is, is the same feelings. Uh, I think your student, uh, uh, they raised the question, what did you miss? Uh, or what are you missing? And uh, 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 during this quarantine period, and I told them uh, that I miss uh, my students, my work, and shopping. And I believe <laughs> yes. they loved that. To be honest, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. And they love that uh, because I think we, it's not the shopping itself as much as uh, going out, you know, and they are teens. So I believe this is why they like that. Um, the other thing is uh, that uh, we shared the boredom of staying at home and one day we are okay with ourselves the next day we're not so the questions actually encouraged me also to express all the feelings that i have not talked about to anyone um, so that's mainly uh, my feeling so far. Maybe I remember other things uh, later. But okay, is, okay. Yeah. They, they asked you about your plans because everybody here is planning what are we going to do when everything finish? Our president told us that it's going to take more time. It's going to extend to the end of April. So it's a huge problem for a school, for, for people living at, in, in a small spaces. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it's a really huge problem here. And not our students have a, a good connection uh, by the internet. So uh, it's going to be a, a hard time here. And uh, Argentina isn't a rich country, you know that. Mm -hmm. So the production is stopped uh, nowadays. Um, only the people in the country is working. Um, so I don't know how is it's going to end, uh, but... Uh, uh, the idea is uh, share feelings through our screens, positive feelings, of course, try to transmit hope to other students, show them that they aren't alone. All the, the globe, all the world is the yeah. same situation nowadays. Yeah, so absolutely. feel safe at home, uh, be safe at home and make huge plans for the future. We are mm -hmm. going to celebrate again when classes start again. They, they are, uh, I don't know, appreciating the classes a lot. Um, they are all the time thinking, well, teacher, when we are back to school, times will be brilliant. Uh, it's going to be excellent to be together again. Uh, and share with our friends and drink mate. Do you know what is mate? M mate, the tea. Yes, yes, it's a sort of tea. Yeah. Yes, yes, with a straw. Mm -hmm. And here we share uh, with friends. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going yes. to change 
because of the virus. Okay, uh, we are uh, we feel that uh, many customs are going to change with this. Not just washing hands, not share mate anymore. I think mm. uh, so. Uh, culture is going to to change. It it's will a pass. huge impact. Mm. Sorry. It will pass. I mean, yes, sure. temporarily, it's going to be a good idea. Not like here, they're telling, they're saying, don't shake hands. Yes. So this yes. Is a sign of respect. This is the one way they yes. do it here. In Thailand, mm -hmm. do like this. Okay. Uh, so this part of the world, you don't really have to shake hands. You can, you mm -hmm. can show this other way, or you know. So, uh, but mate, I know. I when I went to uh, uh, Machu Picchu. Uh, I yes, sat on the yes. train opposite a lady from Uruguay, and she mm, yeah. took up a conversation. She had mate. She hands it to me, and yes. I enjoyed it. So, um, yes. Yeah, yeah. But but I think yes. Uh, for a while, you'll probably you know maybe through the year, maybe until Christmas, you know you'll yes. be uh, worried about this. But at some time, it's going to dissipate and everyone will yes hopefully go back <laughs> yes i'm praying for that yeah. <laughs> i'm praying for that okay so uh Bans, tell us uh, something about you uh you you told us that there isn't a, a quarantine there well it's this it's a lockdown it's not a quarantine mm -hmm. okay uh, you know a quarantine is when you can't leave your house you have to maybe go to a room you know and stay there and yes uh maybe you re make negative pressure so uh germs don't get out from your room but this is a quarantine yes. so lock, uh, quarantine is when you think you have the disease and mm -hmm. you have to protect other people but lockdown is when you don't want to get the disease so you yes if you're smart you stay in your house and you don't uh interact with other people and that's what we're doing and we're quite happy here actually we you know the it's hard it, going to the, the supermarket is kind of dangerous because when you get fruit you or vegetables you have mm -hmm. to take it up and get it weighed and the lines are just one after another yes. you know you, you know you just think whoa hang on so now suddenly on facebook we're finding that there are farmers who can't get their mm fruit and vegetables market. And so they're looking for people on Facebook who, uh, if you want to buy their fruit and vegetables, you can put mm -hmm. money in their bank account, easy transfer, and they'll bring mm -hmm. it to you at your condominium. And it's oh, really great. Excellent. Farms. So this is things like that that we've just discovered, you know, that as we go along, and we've had mm -hmm. our, uh, our uh, MCO, Movement Control Order, extended until April 28th. Uh, it mm -hmm. looks like Ramadan begins on April 23rd. So that 26th. looks... Hmm? You think... Oh, I think that? it's on the 26th here. Oh, okay. I'm just, I am just just went online and it said... Uh, uh, just says what it says in Google. But anyway, okay. Well, so the 28th, that's what they said. They obviously this. Is yes, it's it's Ramadan. almost the same time. Well, almost the same time in the yeah, whole world. Is, this is yeah, one yeah. custom. It's another custom. You know, you've got your custom with mate, and here they mm -hmm. have custom with Ramadan. They have to have night markets. They uh, they don't eat and drink in the daytime, but in the nighttime they like to stay up and stay <laughs> together. I mean, really, you know, Muslim people in Kuwait or wherever they happen to be, Beirut, they love to get together. And, and I, I lived in uh, uh, Alain, well, in UAE and in Oman for all those years. So, uh, you know, I know how that goes. So it's really difficult, I think, for all of these people. But uh, here in Malaysia, they, they seem to think that in Ramadan, they'll be able to open it up. And I, I certainly hope that they will be able to. And actually, in Malaysia, they've had this uh, this uh, movement control order on since uh, well for about a month. I think it was in March 18th was when they invoked it, mm -hmm. and people have been staying. People have been. I live on an island in Penang, and so it's, it's not really not too bad. They have it's an international airport. They have flights that land here, 
and those wow. flights have brought in people with coronavirus. So mm -hmm. there is... Okay, at, at the moment, airports are closed. Mm -hmm. In Argentina. Oh. Mm -hmm. In Argentina. And what about you? No, no there? In Malaysia? No. Oh, in Malaysia? I... Well, oh, they're open to Malaysians. So oh. the Malaysians who are living, they, there's a flight that goes through Qatar and mm -hmm. they, and that flight lands in Penang. So they, some Malaysians came in from Qatar and it seems that they, mm -hmm. uh, they had coronavirus and, but still, even oh. with that, the risk here seems kind of small and, and the, yes. uh, the plateau is, is going up linearly, not exponentially linearly but now it's trying to flatten a little bit so um it's looking okay but you know it's on the other hand you don't want to say okay april 23rd or april 28th or whenever okay we don't know get back to normal no 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 yeah i mean we can't do that yes Donald yes Trump like that so. <laughs> <laughs> some experts say say that uh, finally everybody is going to get the virus they say that, but uh, they are trying to to flatten the curve mm -hmm. uh, because of the 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 health system to avoid the collapse. Well, hopefully they'll have a a um, some kind of um, immunization uh, or uh, you know something that, that something will develop. We hope you know that right now people are using plasma of, from people who are uh who have been uh, who have had the virus and have the antibodies yeah. they're taking their blood they're give, they're using that to try to give it to people who are really sick from the virus to help yes. them resist it it's not mm -hmm. really as they say fda approved federal drug administration approved in the united states but uh, mm -hmm. apparently it's being used and we'll see you know but that's the kind of thing uh, they can, you know, maybe, and that's an antibody response. So maybe the immunization can come from that. Anyway, uh, hopefully they'll they'll do something. <laughs> to yes, the problem. but the moment it's the only thing safe is to stay at home. Yeah, the only for sure. So be patient. It's safe Don't as go long crazy. as the economy is working <laughs> and you can ha get food and there are people who are still providing it's, uh, businesses that are open to provide things and, uh, mm, and you have yes. money to buy it because your bank account is safe you know and so yes um, if those things are okay and then we we can sit at home <laughs> yes you have to stay at home and we don't uh, spend as usual we miss with Bethania, uh, miss shopping as an example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you have the essentials, you know, and if you have yes. those. Yes. We don't... have the essential, a I roof have... over our heads. Uh, but I know uh, she likes to go out, though. Sorry? I know that Booth, you... Bethania, she likes to go out. She likes yes. to enjoy herself. Where are you now, Bhutan? Are you in Beirut? Are you in Lebanon? No, but, well, I, I like to stay at home, uh -huh. but, but uh, for two or three months. I mean, I don't mind to stay a weekend uh, at home. <laughs> so where are you now? <laughs> but you know, we're, they're starting here a complete curfew in three days uh -huh. that means we have to get all our grocery and food through uh, the internet which mm -hmm. they are still working mm -hmm. on the yeah. government to connect uh, uh, you know the copes you're familiar with copes in the gulf region I think it's a co Kuwaiti co uh, cooperative. Yes, uh -huh. yes cooperative. Uh -huh. So the government of we the Ministry of Commerce is uh, trying to connect all those cops uh, uh, together and then have us uh, go and uh, ask for what we want, mm. and they deliver mm. or. 
if you have someone who's willing to go get them, then you have to give his name, a civil ID number, and they will give you a time when he or she can go to the call. Mm. And by the way, regarding the meta, I don't know whether we talked to you about it, Vance, when you uh, visited with Dusty in Beirut. Mm -hmm. we, we didn't tell you about the meta. What is that? The drink, the tea. Ah, ah. oh, mate <laughs> or meta? Mate in Argentina, I there? Meta. Yeah, it is called meta. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it is exactly the way you describe, but it is uh, only uh, like um, um, a tradition of Durzi people, ah. of Druze. Okay. Um, yeah. They use a, a, a straw? Yes, a metal mm. straw. Metal. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, mm. a metal straw here in Argentina. For Mate. Yeah. Oh, well, the, we've Mate. got the same Mate. tradition. Mate. Lebanon so many times, I never found Meta. Yeah, I was. I, guess I never talked to, uh, never talked to the Druze communities enough. Okay, I am going to Google it yeah. later. It's interesting. Yeah. Well, it, they stop this tradition nowadays. And, yeah, and the herb itself. Most of them, they grow it in their homes. Mm. They uh, don't buy. Mm -hmm. Did okay. you get what I said? Mm -hmm. hmm. is, is it like tea was the question? Like tea? Yes. yes. Hmm. It is. Uh, what's uh, what's the, the name of the plant? Is Meta? The name I of the know. plant. Oh. Uh, they call it just Ashba. Ashba means, uh, yeah, means herb. Uh, herb, it's a sort of herb. Mm -hmm. Wow. I'm telling you what well, it is. He, yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, I think you've got uh, celebrations that uh, have been uh, banned or forbidden nowadays. Uh, here in Argentina, Oh, yeah. We are Many. in Hol Holy Week, Semana Santa, they call oh, this. Yeah. More, mm. more here is Catholic, Catholic people mm. here in Argentina. But churches oh, are closed. No celebrations at all. Non-celebrations. Mm -hmm. Just uh, by TV or on the internet, but uh, all the churches are closed. Mm. I, uh, I mean, in, in Lebanon, the, their big pop or a senior one is giving the prayers online, which mm. is cool. Did they do this in Argentina? Yes, yes. Uh, we, we can... And, and we put on the front of our houses signs, as an example, a, a rope, a cross, a, I don't know, a, a group of flowers. A, each day we are showing in the front of our house a, how a, um, we are celebrating that way. But nobody <laughs> goes along the street. I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, every night at nine o'clock, we clap our doctors. Ah, okay. Every night. Every ah, night. Every, every night, night at nine o'clock, all the people in every city in Argentina goes to the balcony or to the, the street and claps. Uh, our doctors, our nurses, uh, all the people who is in the front of the battle. Uh, the so, yes, the heroes. So um, that's the way we, we show our appreciation 
and uh, we feel less lonely that well too because my neighbors are clapping uh, in the front of their houses and we say hello but from from home uh, uh -huh. this is a good way to to contact the other people but uh, my husband and me are over 60 say that over 60 <laughs> so um we try to avoid uh, to go to the the supermarket to go to the groceries uh, and we started to uh, ask uh, people to bring bring home um, and on the other hand we live in a very very small village uh, we are about uh, a thousand people here, no more. Um, so um, our health system is uh, absolutely small. So mm. we have to take care more than in a city because we don't have a hospital here, as an example. Uh, it can be dangerous for us. Mm. So we are at home, safe at home. Uh, on the other hand, the possibility that virus arrive our small time is a bit uh, far. So one positive, one negative. Hmm. So you, st but you have no uh, virus there. No. But you no, still no. practice uh, social distance. You go, you, you stay indoors. Yes, yes, we are keeping, because the, the rule is for the whole country, mm. no matter where you live, mm. uh, that's, that's the rule. Mm -hmm. and, and the police <laughs> goes around all the time here in our small village. And if we are uh, sweeping <laughs> in the front of your house, the police stop and say, please, madam, go inside going mm. to your house <laughs> mm. well we are uh, looking after each other all the time mm. that's our spirit here mm. uh, so that that's the way we are doing this and as i told you at the beginning um it's really important this contact to our students um it was fascinating to have butaina in the class, mm -hmm. uh, seeing the, the positive or the, the positive uh, point of view of this situation is that in our school, in normal classes, it could be impossible because we don't have a really good internet connection at the school, no enough computer for our students, and uh, at the moment, they are at home. They use uh, mobile phones. They use all the tools they normally have at home. Um, not all of them, because some of my students live in the middle of the country without connection. It's, it's, uh, it's a reality. But most of them could uh, contact us. And uh, they say, wow, my. I'm learning real English. This is really good for me. And I could understand teacher. Wow, I'm a genius. Yes, you are a genius. So I, I, I could celebrate. Um, I, um, I had a, a, another a session with Ibrahim. Ibrahim Rustamian, do you know him? Yes, Rustamab, he's yeah. a webhead too. Mm -hmm. Yes, In well, uh, yes, uh, the situation with Ibrahim was so funny. Uh, he's got three kids, three kids at home <laughs> and closing at home. It could be impossible to talk. So he went to his car <laughs> and connected from car. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it was fantastic. Uh, it was an amazing experience too. Uh, he was so funny and he had a, a good time uh, with uh, strange teens from the other part of the world, in the very, very south of the world. 
So uh, I think uh, he said it's historical. Absolutely historical. So this is going to give us something to tell <clears throat> our grandchildren in the future because it's historical. Um, I think it's the positive part of the experience. We are all in the same boat. We are mm. <laughs> sharing the same situation. Well, Buthaina, we've got a few minutes left. So I want your final message. Final message is that I really <clears throat> wish I can go to Argentina one day. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> we'll meet with you, of course, and all your students. Fantastic. Um, yeah. And I hope that um, this crisis of Corona passes faster than we expect. Mm -hmm. And that's all. Okay. Okay, just let me know when you are here in Argentina and I rush to the airport. Yes, of course. A few days yes. before. I, I've, met, uh, I've met Buthena in many different places. I, the, I can't remember. Where did I first meet you, Buthena? Oh, you came to, uh, to Abu Dhabi. You flew to yeah. Abu Dhabi because Michael Coghlan came there. And we were yeah. putting on a, a Global Learn Day. Uh, it, you know, uh, John Hibbs put on these Global Learn Days. His idea was to set up a metaphor of a ship going around the world, and the ship would pass yeah. different time zones. And when it reached your time zone, you could uh, nominate yourself to put on an event. And so I always did. Uh, but that was back in the time, back when John was using, um, uh, what was the, the he was using voice chat that, uh, it, yeah. I don't have to use telephones, and, but, but we did it through voice. And what I did was I got an auditorium because it was after work where I was uh, in Abu Dhabi. And the auditorium was free, and actually it was a, it was afternoon, and I announced it to all of my colleagues. But unfortunately, there was a rugby game on at the time, and they all went off to watch right. the rugby. But Michael flew in from Australia or where we were. I don't know. He was in transit somewhere, and Buthena came all the way from Kuwait, flew there, and we came to this auditorium with the three of us on stage and maybe six or eight people in the audience mostly my colleague, uh, watched this, put on this, per, the a description of web heads and all that kind of thing. But anyway, that was the first time I met Buthena. And then after that, I met, yes. we kept meeting. Uh, Vance, mm -hmm. Yes, Vance, you, you came to, to Argentina. Yes, yes La, we yeah, met in La Plata. Yes, it that. was a fantastic meeting. Mm -hmm. It was amazing having you face to face, mm -hmm. <laughs> finally. Yeah. Yes, Finally. we have a together. Yes, yes. Uh, many teachers know you in the whole world, mm -hmm. and you are nearly, nearly a rock star for us. <laughs> Man. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I know that. I know that. Yeah. But you are inspiring a lot of people in the whole world. Be, be sure about that. You are a really inspiring person, totally, totally. It's and uh, you. your web heads, you. no, you, no, you, you uh, web heads you are web heads everywhere. Without you. <laughs> no, no. So I have to say thank you. Thank you for everything. And thank you for still inspiring people all the time. Uh, you inspired us to, to try new things, to improve our contacts. Um, when I called Butania to be in my class, she said yes immediately. 
Yeah, she's does. fantastic <laughs> because she is a webhead forever, as I said. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it's, it's going to finish in a minute. So I have to say thank you for both of, of you. And uh, it was a real, real pleasure to have you here. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Nice to see you. Bye bye. And especially nice to see, see you. Bye bye. Mm, Butena. Yes. Wonderful to see you again. <laughs> Come to the bye, name bye. when this is all over. See you. Yeah. Okay. Bye. I am going to share with you the recording. Okay. I'm going to yes. stop the recording. Bye bye. And I will share with you also. Okay. Bye bye. Let's see. Okay. April. Bye right? bye. April bye bye. See. 2020. And. Um, this is a learning together event. I can't remember which one it is. It's also a talent event, teaching yes. and learning in isolation. So yes. thank you, uh, Susanna, bye -bye. for proposing this meeting. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.